most entertaining and most unorthodox leadership speaker you've ever seen. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Matt Havens. That's what you've heard. You've heard the four generation, matures, boomers, Gen X and Gen Y, or really, as I like to call it, really old people, old people who don't think that they're old people, whiny people who can't decide if they're old or young people, and then tiny little baby people. We're so excited to have Matt come visit with us um, and share with our group. We had so many people laughing um, throughout his presentation and I've heard so many wonderful comments about how they can take back generational information to use in their businesses. Hello and welcome to Stop Acting Your Age, the most educational and entertaining generational presentation in the world. Now, why do I say that? First off, it's because we're gonna spend time poking fun at all the different stereotypes that we have about each other. Young people, old people, and everyone in between. But then, we're gonna spend time so that you can understand them and learn to resolve every single generational issue that you're having. Are you a young or an old person? And that's what I'm here to do today. I have developed a comprehensive 11 question quiz that we're gonna go through here today to determine once and for all, are you a young or an old person? Question number two, do you now or have you ever owned an eight track tape? A yes, B, what are you even talking about, Matt? Question number seven, do you occasionally walk from one room, get to where you're going and forget why you got there in the first place? A yes, B, no. Number nine, has a horse ever been a primary mode of transportation for you? I know you're getting sick and tired of hearing about how the world is changing faster than ever before. Because the truth is, for, for you or for anybody who was really born before the internet really got going, the world is changing faster than it ever has before. That, that's, that's the truth. That is a fact. But for some of the people you work with, some of the younger folks today, the world is changing at exactly the same pace that it always has. It's why they like it. It's because that's all they've ever known. It's all they've ever had. They've actually learned that best practices and processes change every 12 to 18 months. And if they don't, then companies like this can come in and completely disrupt an industry or sometimes create their own industry that impacts your business as well too. I'm not saying you're gonna earn those things slowly because it was slow for the old people. And too often, that's the conversation that we're having in business today. We're saying, well, it took me 10 years to get here, so it should take you 10 years to get here. You have to practice everything that you are good at. You have to practice video games. You have to practice cooking. You have to practice new languages. And the same can be said for our careers. They all generally work the same way. You start, you screw up a few times, you learn from that, and if you're smart and you're focused and you don't give up, you will continue to advance. The reason the old people generally move a little bit slower on things is because the longer you've been around, the more that you've seen fads like this and others come and go, right? Some things look great on paper and they fail to materialize. Other things are just doomed from the start. But for, for, the, for the young folks, when you have these new great ideas that you're bringing and you're sharing with some of the older people that you work with, just because the old people don't jump up and down and get all excited with you about it, doesn't mean that they don't like your idea. It just means that they might need a little bit more time to process it and think about it than you do. Matt's presentation was so relevant for all generations, obviously. Um, it was entertaining and lighthearted, and yet the message was clear to everyone, so we really enjoyed it. It was great to have a good laugh on a serious topic that we can all take back and apply in our everyday life. Generally, when we start talking about this younger generation, the concept of loyalty comes up. They're not loyal to their employers. They're not loyal to brands that they associate with. And there is some truth to that. But what I would ask you to think about is, people aren't instinctively loyal to anything. Babies aren't even instinctively loyal to their parents. I have uh, two daughters that are two and a half years old right now, and I'm learning that. Um, you, they don't learn loyalty until you bathe them, feed them, keep them warm and safe. And in fact, when grandma and grandpa come around, all that loyalty has gone out the window. If you are looking for the loyalty from the people that you work with, you have to remember that loyalty must be earned. It can't be assumed. If you don't want them to treat your company, as an example, like a stepping stone until they find a better, higher paying job, then you need to make sure that you're not treating them 
like a stepping stone until you can find a, a better, cheaper alternative. And because oftentimes, whether you're the employer or the organizations that's working with these groups, because you're in that position, you have to start the process. And when you start the process, they're going to start the process of becoming a more loyal worker or a partner with your brand. For our young people, advancement is a process, not a right. Everything that you're good at is the result of hard work, dedication, perseverance. Do not expect to be given anything that you made no concentrated effort to earn. For our older folks, advancement is a process that doesn't stop. If you stop learning, if you stop growing, your career, your business will stall. And again, I would say that to any level of person in any organization or industry. So don't expect to keep anything that you make no concentrated effort to maintain. I want to give you your one sentence takeaway from our talk today. It's Twitter approved. You can get it up there. No matter what generation you are a part of, you do not know everything that there is to know. Folks, we need each other. We, we need each other badly. And that's because no one group of people has a monopoly on knowledge. If we're being honest with ourselves, it's not the four generations. There's only two groups that you put people into. You are either a young person or an old person. And that's it. If you've ever had a fight at home, a fight in the office, that you would relate to generational differences, you've never said, well, I am a boomer with traditionalist tendencies, just trying to understand the subtle nuances of the Gen X and Gen Y mind, <laughs> right? No, you've never said that. You either say that punk kid has no idea what he's talking about or that old fart should just retire.